back at it again and Kamala has been caught once again and you know part of me is actually kind of happy that stuff like this is happening because it gives merit to some of the videos that I've already made and what I've been saying in those videos is this whole hype train that's supposedly behind Kamala I've been saying that it's fake or at least mostly fake I don't see it I'm not buying it and stuff like this actually gives I feel like me a little more merit you know because when you have to fake something, when you're supposedly super popular and everybody loves you, like it just proves that you're not, you know? So she was caught trying to fake it till she makes it, which I don't think this is going to work. This, like I said, just gives more merit to folks like myself. Um, and it just proves to a lot of other people that she's not as popular as they say. So we're going to take a trip to a uh, good old Philly because we got to talk about the Philadelphia eagles and with that being said let's dive in all right joe why are you doing this well this is a circumstance that's very concerning to me steve because whoever put this in inside this casing did several things i'm a lifelong philadelphia guy from south philly i love the eagles loyal to them to the end uh i am a republican just to say that to you you know but my concern here is that we're not it's not that someone is expressing an opinion, which everyone's entitled to do, but this person is lying to everyone that comes and uses this stop. Okay, that's what I'm very concerned about. The fact that they're spreading lies that the Philadelphia Eagles endorsed uh, Kamala Harris as a candidate for president in the United States. We all know Philadelphia is the battleground for Pennsylvania. And these type of lies are the things that prevent uh, honesty in the election process and I think that's what we have to promote the integrity of the process everyone comes out to vote after they decide who to vote for now in this respect the Eagles already came out and made a statement earlier this afternoon it's a holiday nobody's working Seth is on a holiday schedule so no one has come to remove this sign it's a paper sign enclosed in the glass there's two Allen wrench Allen wrench blocks here so someone had the ability to come in and open this this sign and insert this poster at the bottom it says philadelphiavote.com eaglesvote.com well it's also giving off the impression that the eagles are officially promoting this display and i just want to stop that and not necessarily stop it but point out now that this is a false advertisement the things that we have been getting hit with throughout this entire election process so we need the truth out of people our candidates as well as the people that work for the candidates and that's the whole point right here to try and get everyone to see that philadelphia is being deceived so you know caught trying to lie about the philadelphia eagles supporting you um you know <clears throat> and i get why it's being done because obviously uh, Pennsylvania is going to be a big decider in this next election. It's going to be absolutely massive, which is why I always give credit um, and, and kudos and always show love to somebody like Scott Pressler. Uh, because he is in Philly, boots on the ground, going from city to city, registering people to vote to make sure that we get Donald J. Trump, a.k.a. Uncle Trump, a.k.a. The Don back in that white house so uh once again shout out to scott pressler um but it's going to be a major decider and that's why you see something like this happening now it probably wasn't you know kamala directing the show herself but it was probably somebody connected to her and her team uh and i would imagine that she would be aware of something like this i i, I wouldn't i don't see and maybe i'm wrong but i don't see you know her team just going out and doing a bunch of stuff and she's just completely oblivious she may not know all of the details but i don't think she's completely oblivious to this happening 
Well, this has been a big talker today. These ads saying Kamala Harris is the official candidate of the Eagles, popping up at bus stations across Philadelphia. The problem here, the Eagles say they're fake and they had nothing to do with them. The ads appear to show a cartoon resembling Harris carrying a football and wearing an Eagles helmet with the text, Kamala, official candidate of the Philadelphia Eagles, written in Eagle style font. Photos of the ads have been widely shared on social media today. In a post on X, the Eagles say they're working with their advertising partner to have the counterfeit ads removed. We know one ad has been removed and we were able to find two more still up tonight. So far, no one has said that they posted them. Intersection Media, who owns the bus shelters where the ads were spotted, says it's aware at least five of the bus shelters were vandalized. They say, quote, while our bus shelters have locks that typically prevent the installation of unauthorized copy by non-intersection staff, occasionally people find a way to unlock the ad box and insert unauthorized copy. We know that the Eagles in Intersection had nothing to do with the creation or posting of this unauthorized copy and Intersection staff will be removing the ads as soon as possible. Now we here at Fox 29, we've reached out to the city of Philadelphia and the Harris Walls campaign for comment. We have not yet heard back from either. Fox 29's own Steve Keeley catching up with one Eagles fan from South Philly who took matters into his own hands. He went to 34th and Walnut and you can see he's actually covering one of the ads with the tweet the Eagles posted about the ads being fake. He says he's fine with people expressing their opinion, but he's not okay with spreading false information. So yeah, uh, getting caught lying about something like that is just crazy, but there's a reason why. And it's because there isn't any true support behind Kamala. It is fake. It is a fraud. And if you don't believe me, y'all know I love showing you street interviews, right? Because I know some people probably think, well, Rich, you're just pandering because, you know, your audience is Republican or conservative. No, I'm not. Y'all know. I back it up. So, you know, here's another street interview. And this one is actually in Pennsylvania, of all places. Check it out. We're at the Hamburg, Pennsylvania Hamburger Festival. And we're going to find out what people think about politics. Hey, how are you? Trump or Harris? Trump. Trump, man. Yeah, there you go. Why? I need my money, man. <laughs> I hear you. Thank you. Trump or Harris? Trump for sure. Hell yeah. Trump, Trump or Harris? Hi, Trump. Trump? Trump. Trump. Thank you. Trump or Harris? No? I don't vote. No? Trump or Harris? I don't vote either. What do we got? Trump? 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 Trump or Harris? Oh, definitely Trump. Trump or Harris? What do you think? Trump. I hope so. Trump or Harris? Trump. Trump. Hey. Trump or Harris? Trump. 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 Trump or Harris? Trump. Trump or Harris? Trump. Why? For better economy. For better economy. Trump. Trump. Why? He's gonna make America better again. Better again. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Trump. Woo. Why? Because he uh, loves America, he has great policies, and he's going to make America great again. Okay, sounds good. Trump or Harris? Capitalism over creeping socialism. Okay, okay, y'all get the message. You get the message. But that video goes on longer than that. It, it continues, okay? Um, but, you know, there's also another reason why. And it's because they know their internal polls tell the real story. They know what's actually happening. These polls that you see released out to the public, they know they're not real. So, of course, they've got to, you know, fake it till you make it or at least try. I told you guys, they're going to try anything and everything. And I, I imagine, and this is just my prediction, I imagine um, that there will be another big event. They tried to take out Trump before and missed. Thankfully, um, I imagine that there's going to be something else big. We'll see. Check out this clip. I think that 
Kamala could do better in national polling and even in the national vote than Biden was gearing up to do because there are just certain really deep blue areas where she's going to, you know, it's not a core walking corpse anymore. So they're going to get off their couch and they're going to vote or they're going to mail in a ballot. However, that still will not help her with the voters that Biden was suffering with in like the northern Midwest and the, in the Sun Belt states. Um, you know, they thought when they got in this race that their path would be through the Sun Belt and then plucking off, of course, what they thought at the time. Pennsylvania would be the easiest, but they even know in their own polling, she's down in Pennsylvania. I don't want to blow the lid off of it. I mean, if I'm wrong, Kamala, you can release your poll right now and you can put it out on Twitter and show everybody that you're up in your polling, but you know that's not the case, so you can't do that, right? So you would drop it and it would say, what, Trump plus almost two, right? Because just saw it. So anyway, uh, you know, basically I'm telling you, they know this. And, um, you know, there's like an environment that was giving her, uh, it's like a high, you know, and the response buys bloated her, her numbers. And when this dust settles, I mean, she could have a great debate performance, Penny, but the truth is debates don't really have a tremendous impact. There are two that will be added to the history books um, where they did. One was Ronald Reagan, of course, in a single debate against Jimmy Carter. And that's something that people like me and Sapala just talk about all the time. But the other one was going to, is going to be Joe Biden, you know, just having a complete mental breakdown on TV because it was an emperor has no clothes moment. Look at the interview she did with uh, Dana, Dana, whatever, Bash from CNN. If they taped almost an hour worth of footage, you're in this business. If they taped almost an hour worth of footage, all right, and they're only going to release 30 something minutes and those 30 something minutes are awful because they're, they are, they and Democrats really felt like in order to stop what I'm saying from happening in, in a couple of weeks, she needed to knock out CNN interview. She didn't put it up. How bad is the rest of that interview, if that's the section we got, Benny. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about that for a second. How bad is it? Release so, the tapes. Release, release the tapes. The tapes. So, yeah. so that makes my <laughs> confidence level a lot less that she's going to go out there and knock this out of the park when it comes to the debate. She would need something. Even Biden was considered to have done significantly better. But what happened in the post-Labor Day environment? Trump just kept closing and closing. He's a very strong closer. I mean, yes, past his prologue, but it doesn't necessarily um, – it, it doesn't guarantee that, you know, pass will be prologue, but damn, I mean, if you're the Democratic nominee, do you not want to be 10 points ahead of Donald Trump right now? You know how this goes. You know how this closes. By mid-September, your lead is fading. By October, you got your push polls and your Biden plus 17s that are trying to still give people something to snort up their nose, right, to keep them going another couple of weeks, but it doesn't happen. And then come election day, this huge swarm of people will come to the polls, crawling across broken glass. They'll walk over the hot lava just to get to the damn voting booth to vote for this guy. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling you is going to happen in a couple weeks. Mark my words. Wow. And yeah. Exactly what I have been saying. It's all fake. It's not real. Like I said before, I think it's meant to demoralize us, to make us feel as if we have no shot at winning, to make us feel as if we picked the wrong guy. You know, to make us second guess, like, oh, crap. Yeah, we shouldn't have picked Trump. Oh, no. It ain't real. In every single street, in including Don Lemon's. I've showed you guys the clip of Don Lemon walking the streets and, hey, Trump, 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 Trump. Trump. Like, everybody saying Trump. Even Don Lemon himself was walking the streets and that happened. So you can't tell me. That these polls are real. Now, am I saying Trump is up by 30? No. No. More than likely, Trump is up. Uh, or more than likely, what I think will happen is uh, Trump will win a place like Pennsylvania by like two point. It'll be like low twos. It'll be like 2.2 or something. It'll be barely over 2%. Um, and then in other places, he'll barely skirt it out. Like if he wins Michigan, it'll be by less than a point, much less than a point. It'll be by like a half a percent, even, prob probably less than that. Um, so yeah, there will be some very, very close situations. But to say that she is like the best thing since sliced bread and she's going to blow Trump out of the water. Well, first off, even if you want to say that, you have to look back. And yes, it's the past, but whatever. Hillary Clinton, wasn't she up by seven in 2016 in those polls right before the election? Joe Biden, didn't they have him up by the same amount? And, you know, one could argue that he lost, but how close did that end up being? That was supposed to be a blowout, too. So you mean Republicans, Republican voters closed the seven point gap. And basically closed another seven point gap because I think Biden was like six point something. Two seven point gaps. 
So if Kamala is up by one, then really Trump is up by five or six in reality. Or she's down by five or six in reality. Now, this isn't saying get comfortable. I always want to emphasize that because if we relax, oh my goodness. And like, and I've always stated this, that's one of the things that really scares me the most is that people relax. That is not the purpose of this video. That's not the purpose of any of my videos where I talk about this kind of stuff. The purpose of it is to make sure that we don't get demoralized, which is what I think the purpose of these crazy polls are. Oh my goodness, Kamala's up, Kamala's up. It's like at every turn, Kamala's up, Kamala's up, Kamala's up, Kamala's up, everywhere you turn. And I think it's just to demoralize us. So the purpose of these videos is to make sure that we aren't demoralized, to make sure that we are energized and to make sure that I get the truth out, right? Because once again, I backed it up. This isn't just me talking out the side of my neck. I backed it up. You heard it from a poster. You've seen it, uh, uh, um, in another street interview, which there's more to that street interview, if you want me to show you the rest of it, right? But it's just the same as you saw it earlier. I've, you know, I've, I've always backed it up with evidence. So, uh, yeah, man, I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited. I, like he said, I will walk through broken glass to make sure I go vote. And I'm not joking. I will walk through broken glass to make sure I vote. Not joking. I, I'll, I will take some cuts on my feet to make sure that I get there. Don't care. It's that important. It's that important. And uh, I think if we all have that kind of mindset going into November, it's going to be a wonderful 2025. Because <laughs> obviously Trump doesn't take office until next January. So 2025. For those that are wondering, like, wow, why do you say 2025? The rest of the year is going to be great. 2025 is when he actually will walk into office. Um, so, yeah, if we all have that mindset, it'll be great. Uh, once again, get involved. Get involved. We need people. Uh, I know Scott Pressler has requested to uh, have some extra folks. So if you have some free time, if you're available, get in contact with a guy like Scott Pressler right here on X or right right on x not right here because you're on youtube but on x um you can get in contact with tp usa they're doing some fantastic work as well um work at a polling location that's that's huge work at a polling location get in okay even even if you can't work at a polling location try to become friends with somebody that works at a polling location so you have the inside scoop on, on uh what's going on that's a great way to get involved too. If you if it's already too late to work at a polling location, try to make friends with somebody that does. Just an idea, just an idea. But as always, y'all stay safe out there. Peace and love. I'm out.